Hey guys, so I am back with a D-Stash video and just a little more info concerning the semi-annual sale. It's kind of like a semi-annual sale teaser, if you will. So let me knock out the info first and then I'll get into the D-Stash in a second since it's pretty cut and dry. All right, so tomorrow, which is Wednesday the 22nd, there's going to be a two for 22 three wick candle sale along with the buy three, get three free on body care. I think they're doing this in part of the Memorial Day weekend. I'm not quite sure, but it makes sense, right? Right, so that's the game plan. Now, I knew about the two for 22 sale because let me tell you, it was just, I was so desperate. Pure desperation, couldn't help myself. I just felt the urge to buy something. So here's what happened. So this morning I go into my store and I'm like, okay, Obviously, the $5 four ounce candle sale is still going on. I had a coupon that lets me get, you know, spend 10 bucks, get a free item up to a $12 value. So I'm like, get two espresso bar candles, get a free Sea Island cotton, coconut lime breeze, whatever, and, you know, hit the door. So I'm thinking, okay, I'll do that. So that's what I did. And I go to checkout. And the manager goes, okay, you're going to put those back because tomorrow there's going to be two for 22. So I'm like, really? okay, <laughs> that works out for me. So that cured my addiction for the time being. And that's that. So two for 22, that's pretty cool. Now the buy three, get three free, I didn't know anything about. My friend, my dear friend, Jameson Pinazola, baby, he sent me a message stating that there's some new stuff coming in, so I want to let you know. So thanks to him, he's a little doll, so excellent. And I'm like, here we go. Buy three, get three free two for 22. Anything you need, get it right this minute. I'm not kidding. I think this will be the last sale um, and then semi-annual. So I know that a lot of you are, you know, inquiring about like poolside and certain candles, certain fragrances. They're not in my store. Um, should I wait? What do I do? Get it now. That way you have it and there's no worries. Like me, I have everything I want and then some like all the scents that are out that I want that I like I mean I have either seven or more so for semi-annual like all I want is caramel apple that's really all I care about at this point so two for 22 for me it's like okay well get it and call it a day it's I have it so why not so you get it now that seals the deal so when you get to semi-annual sale you can just kind of you know breeze through oh uh, I can take another one. I don't need it. I have a few. That's just me. I don't know about you guys, but that's the way I think. So that's that. And then we have some info with like the semi-annual teaser part. So here we go. I'll do the home fragrance first. So before semi-annual, like a week or two before, all right, this, I think it's like three or four weeks, right? We're not really close, but kind of. They you know, discount a few cents. I know last year they did, um, oh God, help me remember. They did Orchard Petal, Drenched Apple Flower, and I think they did Sea Sight Escape. I can't remember each and every candle that they did, but they put those on sale first, which were like 25 or 25, 50% off. They did those. So this year they're doing, um, the first up we have Fresh Bamboo, Spice, Green Grass, and Spring. Three wicks and four ounces are going to go half off. You know, spring, I like it. I don't have to have it. Green grass, I'm kind of surprised because they made it a lot stronger and just all are out better. All are out. All around better. Spice, just let it go. No one's buying it. They have a million of those candles. I mean, I get it, but let spice go. Fresh bamboo. I'm going to have to say let it go and check it out really quickly. This is my fresh bamboo, the one that had the gold lid. Wax is turning brown, and you can see the two-tone action going on. The wicks are super stubby. I mean, it burns, you know, f nicely, very slow. The scent smells burnt. It's just, yeah, they did a number to it. It's, it's not good. Um... When they had it out, I guess like last year when it first came out, not first, but when it was reintroduced or whatever, 
flawless high flames from start to finish top to bottom it even scared me because it was such a wicked burn scent was excellent the wax remained consistent the color of it it was just like the perfect candle everyone that's reviewed fresh bamboo knows it was perfect this new one with the new wicks it's i don't know why they did that but yeah that was a total failure so those are the candles and then we have the body care we have the true blue spa mango and raspberry those are going 50 percent off the soap the shower smoothie which is what you can see here um the lotion and i think the body cream too so pretty much all that stuff's going 50 percent off the dial a shimmer that mess is <laughs> that's going 50 percent off i've never tried it but i know it's just whatever so for now, oh, and the Sweetheart collection, that's going 50% off too, and let it go. It's time. Just mark it off, 75% off, sell it out, call it a day. That was a disaster in my opinion, but yeah, so that's the skinny for what's happening before the semi-annual sale. As far as the candles coming in, you know, we're all excited for, you know, the mint chocolate, caramel apple, salty caramel, all that stuff. Um... I was told they're going to be coming in like a week before the sale, but knowing my store, they'll get them in hopefully by the end of next week. So I'm just really hoping, I just want to try it out. I want to see what they look like. Um, so yeah, that's the game plan. Also, I wanted to mention something that's kind of, sort of scary, but you know, I'll live. Easton and pretty much Ohio they're known for being like the cream of the crop as far as you know test sense you know get it here first that's coming to an end I was actually talking with um, that area today and they're saying how in the heck did you know that I'm like well actually Sia brought it to my attention see it love it by it we were talking and she mentioned it I think a week ago and she's like I don't know if it's true but I'm like okay I kind of didn't want to believe it, but I'm like, well, it's coming from her, obviously, it's going to be true. So I was talking with them, and they were like, yeah, it's pretty much true. So what happens is that in the region, they'll pick a market and say, okay, well, we want you to have, you know, the first of the first. So they get it, they sell it, and I think they do that for like a year and a half or even two years or so, and then they do a new market. So they were like, you know, head honcho, cream of the crop, they do it. And they're not anymore, so I don't know how that's going to play out. It's kind of sad, but, you know, it is what it is. Nothing we can do about it. So that's pretty much all I have to say. I want to show you just really quickly. For those of you that were inquiring about Brown Sugar and Fig with the new and improved Bath & Body Works logo, D let me stand up really quickly. Dud Central, look at that. That was, I believe, like a full day burn, probably like eight in the morning until like eight the night, that night. As you can see, the wicks are so puny. They're so thin, like the last one. Um, I did the cotton ball trick. Sorry, it's like blurry. Come on, baby, work out for me. It's so sad when you have to give your camera a pep talk. Anyway, um, I, you know, cotton ball trick absorbed the wax. I don't normally do that because I don't like wasting, but I had to, I didn't have a choice. And I'm left with just total canyoning, tunneling, madness. So that's that. And I finished a country apple candle, which was flawless. Look at that. I told you guys, I burned my candles till there's no more to burn. So I don't waste. I don't waste. All right. Now let's talk D-stash since I'm, it's like what I came for. Um, where do I start? So I was kind of optimistic about it. I'm like, I've been hearing horror stories, but I'm like, I have nothing to lose. Let me just do one. So here's what's happening. We are getting rid of the Pure Paradise Shower Gel, the Forever Red EDT, the Coconut Leaves 3 Wick, True Blue Spa Shower Smoothies and Raspberry and Mango Butter, Pink Chiffon EDT, Lemon Mint Leaf Mason Jar Candle, what is this, 
Fresh Picked Tangerines Hand Cream, and last but not least, Pure Paradise Body Lotion. Everything is brand spanking new. Um, as you guys know, I'm like duplicate queen, so I am, am good. I just want to kind of, I don't know, kind of, you know, out with the old and with the new, if you will. So that's what we're looking at right now. Now let's get down to the nitty gritty and talk prices and all that stuff. So this stuff is, it's well over, you know, a hundred bucks easily. Well over that. I'm in a great mood. Super cool. So I'm going to let this stuff go for 60. 60 includes shipping. I believe I'll do a medium flat rate, but if not, then I'll end up doing, I guess, a large one. It really doesn't matter. But, um, yeah, I'm super picky about, like, how things are. And anyone that has received stuff, something from me knows everything's, you know, wrapped tightly, secured, and I'm really picky about that. I didn't even take the EDT out the bottle or any, or out of the package because I don't want to, like, smudge it up or anything. I'm, I'm super picky and ticky about, like, everything. So everything's in mint condition. Everything's great. Again, 60 um, that's what I'm asking for. Um, PayPal. I don't know. I was watching Sarah's video and it kind of scared me a little bit because it brought me back to my eBay days. I know the tricks of the trade with that kind of stuff, especially with like eBay, PayPal, all that stuff. I know how people can be kind of, I want to use words, but I'll say kind of, sort of, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Dis honest kind of sort of tell you one thing turn around do another so PayPal we're gonna scratch that off and do what I believe yeah lo I can't pronounce your name I'm so sorry just Marisol she's doing a money order so I figure let's do a money order that's take it back and do a money order um this is going to be US only I just don't feel comfortable doing funds and all that stuff for people like, you know, across the world. Right now, that's subject to change, but for at this moment, we're going to do U.S. only. And yeah, that's pretty much the way I'm doing it. Um, I'm going to do that collection video. I'm going to do it. There's some stuff I'm willing to part with. Um, I want to let you guys see the collection so that you can say, okay, I want that. I want this. I can give it a yay or nay, you know, so... I'm going to do that. That's, that video's definitely coming. I haven't forgotten about it. I just, oh my God, you guys don't know, lug in a bunch of stuff around the world, around the house. It's so much. I have, because my, my room's just done. It's filled capacity, can't hold anything. My collection's trickled downstairs in my garage, so I'm doing a lot of moving, rearranging. I do seasonal, so like right now we have spring, summer in rotation. I'm going to you know, end up putting that downstairs and remove the fall stuff. So a lot of stuff I'm doing and I'll show that collection since you guys want to see it and I, I get it. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I have to say for the moment. I went over Ohio not being a test market. I went over the, let's see, my cheat sheet right here. Candles 50% off, body care 50% off, buy two get or buy three, get three free. 2 for 22, talked about that stuff, showed you the candles. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Yip yap, or chatting and all that stuff. All right, I haven't seen a video or anyone talk about Frosted Cupcake in so long, and it kind of worried me. I, I'm mentioning that because I went into my stash earlier. I found one of the very first um, packagings for Frosted Cupcake. I remember going to the store when it first came out, and, you know, just looking around, I'm like, Frosted Cupcake, what's that? That's so cool. The lady runs up to me. She goes, look, there's only three left. Get them. Just get them. I didn't even smell it. I'm like, okay, I, I trust you. So got them to the register. I smelled them, and I'm like, this is really good. It's, it's a vanilla cupcake. She's like, look, I bought three. They're like women that came in they bought like the rest of them so that's what's left of it it was amazing I, I it was just perfect perfect burn greatness it was a consistent 
Lee, amazing vanilla cupcake scent, top to bottom, excellence. Then it releases in a new packaging with a fresh pick, and that was a disaster. It smelled like a burnt sugar cookie. And then it came back, I believe, for the fall, and it was okay. It wasn't the best, but it was okay. And then it came out with white barn labeling, and it was just the pits. I mean, I'm telling you, the wax turned black, um, gray, brown, whatever, the scent, just it was just a mess. All in all, terrible. So BBW, if you're listening, and I know you are, bring Frosted Cupcake back to basics. Bring it what, how it used to be. It was, it had kind of like that, I don't want to say spongy, but just kind of like, it just smelled like a cupcake. Frosted Cupcake was amazing. Bring Frosted Cupcake back to what it used to be, and we'll buy it in bulk because I miss it. I really do. I miss that scent. I'm not going to buy it because it's a total disaster, but just a little, you know, for me to you, LVD to you, make sure you kind of work out Frosted Cupcake because that one's a mess at this point. Um, leaves. I was looking at my videos and I want leaves to come back in hand soap. I, I'm going to go for hand soap. I would love body care again. For those of old school people that remember it, body care, I would love that. But, you know, that's probably asking for too much at this point. So I would love the hand soaps. And I'll be dumbfounded if they bring that back in hand soap that that would just like make my season if you will so I really want leaves to come back anything else on my mind while I'm sitting here yapping up a storm and we're going on 20 minutes let me like think of anything else to say no that's all I have to say um the pocket backs like the new little kitty back to school all that cutesy cutesy stuff I have it why didn't I haul it right now? Idiot. Such an idiot. I didn't do it when I... God. I'll, I'll do it. Maybe this week or next week. I don't know. Obviously, it wasn't like something I had to do, so I didn't <laughs> forget all about it. But I have them. And they're cute. Mostly alcohol, but they're kind of cute. What else? Um, again, I can't stress this enough. I feel like a broken record at this point. Um, 2 for 22 tomorrow. You guys, go and get your candles now because... I hate when you guys come back and, oh, I didn't get this, I didn't get that, and it just, I feel bad, because it's like, wow, you know, I have what I want, so I want you guys to have what you want, so utilize it, take advantage of it, get your stuff now, so when semi-annual comes, you know that, you don't have to worry, you're like, okay, well, I can just get this, get that, you know, whatever. Um, it would have been, oh, and also, I didn't mention in the last video I did for semi-annual, um, or I probably did, but don't remember. But I'm just going to say it again and then let you guys... I'm, I'm going to wrap it up. Trust me. Just give me one more second. Okay, so every store is different. The inventory here is different from the inventory even in, you know, L.A. It, it just... Every store has different inventory. So if you find something and you're lucky, get it, grab it. Get it now. Don't wait for the drastic markdowns because... And I'm still unsure as to what's like especially with the you know the caramel apple all that stuff um some people are saying eight some people are saying ten some people are saying um that <laughs> so that's that's pretty much all i had to say i'm gonna let you guys go all right so that's pretty much it thank you so much for listening and watching and bearing with me i have made three thousand plus subbies <sighs> that's so cool i'm telling you i started out just doing the videos and I really, it didn't hit me until like someone said, you know, you've got a few viewers and you're doing good. I'm like, I am, ain't I? <laughs> so that was so cool. Um, oh, that's what I wanted to do. I didn't even, okay, one more thing and I'll let you guys go, I promise. I get a lot of questions about, um, you know, how do I get my foot in the door doing the videos? What do you suggest? What are your tips and tricks? Um, it's going to sound kind of cliche, kind of corny, but I'm going to tell you, like, what I do. This is, I don't know about everyone else, but this is what I do. You have to have fun with it. If you're not having fun with it, then your audience is not going to have fun. Um, you know, staying in, like, the fragrance, that world, you know, candles, fragrance. People love hauls and collections. So when you're starting out, I would definitely do 
the hauls and collection that brings people in and then they're curious to know what you're going to get next so do that um when you're reviewing i this is the part i was dreading because i don't want to tell you how to do it but since i was you know requested i um no one wants to hear um coconut leaf smells like coconut it's good i like it because there's so much more to it you know a lot of the younger reviewers do that i've noticed and it's like oh you're so cute but really um kind of detail um talk about what it reminds you of um and you don't have to be perfect because trust me i stumble i get sidetracked and you know i'm not always there so you know you do the best you can and have fun with it that's pretty much the the main thing is have fun with it um what else have fun be descriptive collections hauls um you know tell it like it is it doesn't work for a lot of people because they'll write you off as being a bitch or being um picky but you know you review to give your point of view and if it's not your point of view then what's the use of doing it i mean i just say what i feel i mean i know people aren't going to like it and they don't like it but that's just me i, I don't care i just say it and that's it is what it is with me but um i would definitely just speak your mind if you don't like something let it be known if you want something let it be known and just go for it that's pretty much it guys i don't know what else to say like um yeah that's all there's nothing to it but to do it and if you're new and you're kind of you know scared oh i sound sound dumb doing it or i look you know crazy doing it test it out with like a, a haul or a collection that's that's all i can say we're going on 20 minutes and my battery is about to die so that's my cue i'm really gonna let you guys go for the moment um at the moment no more hauls maybe one more haul if i get desperate knowing me i'll do a phone order <laughs> i want that sage and cedar candle i love those candles this is a time when you want if you're con concerned about like the um pizzeria Southern Magnolia, what else? Um, Eucalyptus Mint got pulled and it'll be back for semi annual, so, so, or so I've heard, wink wink. Um, melon, I think that's just gone. But for those of you that are wondering about like the Southern Magnolia and those candles, Pizzeria, I would make that test store phone order. Make that one the one because it could p possibly be released to like all stores for semi annual, but you never know. You don't know what they're going to do until you actually see it there. So that's all I have to say. If I, if I leave anything out or if, if I'm uploading this and then something comes to mind, I'll just put it in the little info thing. But that's it, guys. I'm going to let you go. Again, thank you so much for listening and watching. Something just came to mind, and then I'm, I'm done. I promise. I'm going to do another giveaway. It's going to be big and grand and really cool since I've reached that 3,000 mark. Thanks to all of my babies out there. I really appreciate it. And that's it. No more talking. No more rambling. Thank you for listening and watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. You have to... I keep saying I'm done and then I'm not. Another thing with the videos, this doesn't work for everybody, but it works for me because I'm just, you know, you know, I like the interaction. For me, I respond to people. I mean, you're doing videos and you're obviously you're doing it for a reason you're not just doing it just to you know blow hot, hot air hot steam um you don't have to do this but i do it because i like interacting with people and i like you know just saying hi um you've watched the video at least you can you know hey how are you feeling you know how's your day going you know people they want to interact and feel like they're not being ignored so responding to people that's key it helps because it lets you know that, well, hell, I'm watching your videos and I'm asking you a question and you don't want to respond to me. Well, you know, of yours. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. And that's it. So thank you so much for listening and watching. God bless you all. And I will see you for semi-annual because I want to see what you guys are going to come up with. Hell, I want to see what I'm going to come up with because all I'm worried about is my caramel apple and my island margarita hand. So that's all I want at this point. Anything else that comes along, great, but that's what I'm gunning for. 
And that's it. So thank you so much again, and I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks. Love you much. Bye.